You don't have to be gas safe registered or a techie to find out whether your boiler is condensing or not. It's only a question of pressing a few buttons. Stay tuned right to the end and I'll show you how it's done. First, have a look at the installation manual if you've got it to hand. There will be a section on setups and parameters of the boiler. Or just wake up the display and scroll down to, from the menu to where it says boiler flow temperature. If you're not sure, then phone the manufacturer and ask them. Now we can see the boiler central heating flow temperature. It's probably going to say 70 or 75, whatever. But we're going to take a step-by-step -step guide to bring it down to 60 degrees, which makes it lean, green, and extremely economical and makes the boiler last longer. This system is based on a three bedroom semi system or smaller where we want the return temperature to be 20 degrees lower than the flow. So we're aiming for a 40 degree temperature return. Dew point is where the fumes from the boiler via the flue leaves and then starts to condense in the outside air. And anything above 55 means that the boiler is inefficient, but also we're putting more pollution into the atmosphere. By increasing the size of the radiators, that naturally lowers the return temperature going back to the boiler, and that's where we save our money. So look at the largest radiator in your house. It could be the hall, lounge, dining, kitchen, or even bedroom one. But the most important radiator is the lounge. There are a few boilers and manufacturers that do this job automatically. So it means that that particular model is auto efficient 24 seven, which is brilliant. Just like our kettle, do we have to boil it to 100? Yes, but if we could do the same job at 60, that would save us a great deal of money. And our boiler is absolutely the same. 60 flow, 40 return. You don't have to be an expert to use my heat loss calculator guide. Just input the height, the width, the length, everything about that particular room, the window size and so on. It's very easy to follow. Just have a go and calculate whether the radiator actually in that room is large enough to give you that 40 degree return temperature. More often than not, the radiator is too small, which is why we have to turn the boiler temperature up and that costs us money that's wasteful and grossly inefficient. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Have a look at our videos and obviously like and subscribe, which that helps us a great deal. All the best and take care.